Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to identify and locate co-interior angles. We've learned about alternate angles, we've learned how to locate and identify corresponding angles. The last one is called co-interior angles. Co-interior are also created when we have parallel lines and we have a transversal crossing or intersecting them and more than one angle is created and we have to find those co-interior angles. Now, with alternate angles, we were looking for a Z or an S looking shape. Corresponding angles, we were looking for an F looking shape. Co-interior angles, we're looking for a C looking shape. Now, we use the highlight trick to see if we can create a C, and then we know straight away if we do create a C using the angles, then straight away we know these are co-interior angles. Let's see how it actually works. In this case here, we have parallel lines and we have a transversal, a line cutting through, creating all these different angles. Now, we can tell that we have to highlight the angle. Okay, probably best to use a different color. That way it is highly visible. And here, we highlight this angle, we highlight that angle and we join them together and we can straight away see and identify that we have a C looking shape. Our angles are inside here and in there and we have them in different color to show something very important and that is co-interior angles are not equal. They have a relationship, they add up to 180 degrees. Co co corresponding angles are equal Alternate angles are equal, however, co-interior angles are not equal. They add up to 180 degrees. Very important that you don't miss that out and you actually remember that very important rule. This example here, we highlight our angle, we are looking for a C, we highlight this angle and we join them together and we have a, a C looking shape back to front, we know straight away these are co-interior angles. And if you notice, co-interior angles are actually side by side. So they are side by side, as you can see, very, very easy. So it makes an, a C looking shape. And once again, different colors or different symbols, meaning they have a different value. So very important for you to remember that. And as you can see here, this is acute and this is obtuse. So straight away, we can see that this is big and this is small. So now we know they add up to 180 degrees. So let's use that rule so we can actually work out missing angles once again. We look here and we notice that the Y is missing. We highlight the angles and we join them together, see what shape we can make. We highlight that angle, highlight that angle, join them together, we make a C backward looking shape, therefore we know straight away a C, we're referring to a co-interior, so these are co-interior, which means they add up to 180 degrees, so Y is going to equal to 180 degrees, take away 100, therefore Y is going to be 80 degrees, very important. So y plus 100 make 180, therefore 180 take away the 100, take away this section, we're left with 80 degrees, and of course always our reason, co-interior angles in parallel lines. Our reason, co-interior angles in parallel lines, y equals 80, they add up to 180 degrees. This example, think about it, let's highlight and see how we're going to locate our co-interior angles. We are looking for a C shape, do we get a C shape here? Let's see. We highlight the angle, we highlight this angle, we join them together and we have a C, it's rotated, therefore we know straight away these are co-interior angles, and we know co-interior angles, as we said, 
they add up to 180 degrees therefore x is going to equal to 180 degrees take away the 60 degrees which means x is 120 degrees and our reason co interior angles in parallel lines 60 plus 120 make 180 they are co-interior angles because make a C looking shape I always like to use the highlight trick but as you can tell as well they are inside they are next to each other so much easier for us to see if you don't um, like to use the highlight trick just straight away look for a C shape or an F or a Z now it depends of course on the diagram you'll need to be careful and using this trick you'll straight away get the answer without making any mistakes and you go straight through you'll get your result and you write your reason and you get your marks in full without any mistakes.